This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Do you love resorts with a modern design aesthetic? Then you should definitely check out Finest Playa Mujeres in Mexico. This family-friendly property features the kind of modern, minimalist design you typically expect to find in Cabo, not Cancun. And certainly not at an all-inclusive resort, which Finest is. In this video, I'll cover the accommodations, the pools, the beach, the dining, the spa, the kids club, the entertainment, and the extra amenities you'll receive if you book a club-level suite. I'll explain why Finest is a particularly good choice if you're traveling with infants and toddlers. And of course, I'll cover the COVID-19 safety protocols at the resort, so keep watching. Many thanks to Finest Playa Mujeres for hosting us. Hey, welcome back to Top Flight Family. My name is Carmen Sinyovi, and I'm so excited to tell you all about our stay at Finest Playa Mujeres in Cancun, Mexico. This trip took place in early May, and we flew JetBlue out of Terminal 5 at JFK. So I just want to share a quick travel hack. So if you're in the market for a new book bag to use as your personal item for flying, look for one that has a trolley sleeve because this actually allows you to loop it onto the handles of your suitcase, which makes it so much easier when you don't want to actually carry it on your back. Sometimes when you have airport connections, you have to walk super long between gates and it just makes it so much easier, especially when you're traveling with kids. Now, if your book bag doesn't have a trolley sleeve, one really cool product that I recently found is from a brand called Cincha. So they actually made this belt that loops onto the handles of your carry-on. So you can actually use it to clip any kind of bag onto your suitcase. It can work for a book bag, it can work for a tote bag, whatever kind of bag you use as your personal item. I'm having a hard time not to. It's about a 40 minute drive from the airport. When we got to the property, we were greeted with a welcome drink, then we were escorted to the finest club lounge to check in. When you book a suite at this property, you have the option to book a club level suite rather than a regular suite. This would be either a finest club suite or an excellence club suite. The difference between these two is that finest club suites are for families while excellence club suites are located in the adults only section of the property. I'll share more about the benefits of booking a club-level suite later in the video, so stay tuned. Though I said earlier that this property is in Cancun, it's actually about 25 minutes away from the main strip in Cancun. It's located on a gorgeous stretch of beach that feels quite secluded and tucked away. Isla Mujeres is a small island that's a popular tourist attraction in the area. Finest is not located on the island, but more or less across the water from it. If you'd like to visit there, it's about a 7-minute drive to the ferry and then a 35-minute boat ride to the island itself. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. Let's see the outside, guys. Oh, that's ours? That's ours? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like it. Man, it's a swim up. So nice. We stayed in a finest club swim up family suite. It features a junior suite with a comfortable king bed and a living area that opens onto the gorgeous pool. The pool area has two loungers, a couple of day beds, and a hammock hanging over the pool. There's also an indoor jacuzzi with views of the pool. The ultra-modern bathroom has sleek Groa fixtures, and the girls loved their Scandinavian-inspired wood-paneled bedroom. If you'd like to see the full tour of the suite, I'll link our video down below. Oh, hey. Um, yeah. 
So I'm a fun parent, so you could be I'm in the pool. And third, <laughs> you're not in the pool. There are 10 pools throughout the property. Each of the six buildings has either one or two swimmer pools, plus there's a main shared pool as well. If it's in your budget, I would highly recommend booking a swim-up suite. It's been a while since we had a swim-up suite at a resort, and I had totally forgotten how convenient they are. Plus, if you've got a younger kid who needs to nap during the day, it's easy to put them down while your older kid continues enjoying their pool time. Get through the simplest I can find The beach at the finest is gorgeous. The white sand is powdery and the beach is really spacious, so there's plenty of room for kids to run around. The water is also a bit more swimmable than you typically find in Cancun, apparently because the landmass of Isla Mujeres across the water slows down the waves quite a bit. But of course, you should always check the beach flag warnings, so how swimmable it is really depends on the conditions on that particular day. There are also volleyball nets and soccer goals, so if you fancy a game of beach volleyball or beach soccer, that's all set up and ready to go. One of the perks of being a guest in a finest club suite is that you get access to a private beach area that includes cabanas. In the main beach area, there are no cabanas, just the regular loungers with umbrellas, so this is a really great perk of having a club-level suite here. So what other benefits are there to booking a finest club suite? Well, the first perk is that you can enjoy a private check-in and check-out in the club lounge instead of doing it at the front desk. You also have access to this lounge every day from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. and there's a full bar as well as snacks. It's really nice to have an option in the same building as your suite if you want to just grab a quick drink or a quick bite to eat. The amenities inside your suite are better too. You can expect fresh flowers and sparkling wine when you arrive. You get Bulgari toiletries, a better room service menu, and even your mini bar, liquor, and wine selections all get upgraded. Plus, every guest who's 13 and over will get a complimentary one aqua hydrotherapy ritual at the spa. By the way, if you're new to this channel, we're the Simyovi family. There's me, Carmen, my husband Serge, and our daughters, Sean and Ella. We work full-time as travel creators, and we're all about inspiring families to explore the world together in comfort and style. We share tips on how you can save time, reduce hassle, and maximize comfort when you travel with kids. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Our family has set a goal of visiting 21 resorts in 2021, and finest Playa Mujeres is the seventh one we've stayed at so far. Why resorts? Well, we actually have a whole video that explains that, which I'll link below. I'll also link to our 21 resorts and 2021 playlist so you can check out all the other properties we'll be visiting as well. No nos contestaba, baby, acuérdate Que en esos días fríos te serví de abrigo Me mataste por dentro tú diciéndome Mejor amigo, mejor amigo If you're going to stay at Finest, do yourself a favor and spend an afternoon at their stunning one spa. This spa blends three different approaches to wellness. Classic Eastern therapies, traditional pre-Hispanic healing techniques, and European essential oils. They have a range of treatments for kids, so if you'd like to enjoy your spa day with your mini-me, you can absolutely do that here. Serge and I started with the One Aqua Ritual. Our valet led us through a series of hydrotherapy treatments, including saunas, thermal showers, steam rooms, ice rooms, hot and cold plunging pools, and various water jets that targeted different pressure points on our bodies. The One Aqua Ritual ended with a head and neck massage performed while we relaxed on the heated loungers. Frankly, we were pretty relaxed already after this, but there was more. We went on to try the spa's signature treatment, which is the Mezcali Ritual. This is an hour-long deep tissue massage that incorporates the Mexican spirit Mezcal, which is known to activate circulation and alleviate muscular pain and inflammation. 
The therapists also use a warm herbal poultice made of lemongrass, eucalyptus, and chamomile. And of course, the treatment ends with a shot of mezcal with an orange chaser. I've been trying my best not to think about you, but you're stuck in my mind. I've been hypnotized by you. Hey, all the suffering and pain got me feeling so blue. Cause when it was us, I was never enough. If you need a place for your kids to go while you're at the spa, check out the Imagine Kids Club. Kids club activities are divided into three age groups, 3 to 6, 7 to 11, and 12 to 15. But if siblings prefer to stay together, that's not a problem. Sean had just turned 12 when we took this trip, so technically she would have been in the teen group, but the kids club staff had no issues with her staying in Ella's group. If your child is under the age of 3, they can still play at the kids club, but you would just need to stay with them. Finest is a particularly good resort to book if you're traveling with infants and toddlers. If your baby is eating solids, the resort can make a variety of natural, homemade, gluten-free purees for them. And they provide all kinds of useful baby gear, like bottle sterilizers, bottle warmers, baby monitors, high chairs, baby bathtubs, and cribs. The best thing is, access to all this gear is part of your all-inclusive stay. So right before we left for this trip, I got really hooked on a TV series called The Warrior. It's set in San Francisco in the late 1870s, and it delves into the tense relationships between Chinese immigrants, Irish immigrants, and the way those in power played these groups against one another to further their own political and economic interests. It was actually based on a TV series concept that Bruce Lee had been pitching, but he was never able to get it produced during his lifetime. So of course, in addition to the interesting historical insights, there's a ton of fantastic martial arts action scenes, which makes it a really fun show to watch. When we got to Mexico though, I realized that HBO Max wasn't available there, so I couldn't continue to binge my show. Luckily, I have ExpressVPN, which gives me unrestricted access to all parts of the internet. I was able to reroute my connection to a server in the US and continue watching my show. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by clicking the link in the description box below. It's really a must have for any traveler. Oh my God, are you guys twins? No. Why would you think that? Really random. We're like not even wearing the same exact clothes. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the dining at Finest Playa Mujeres, because this is probably among the best food we've had at an all-inclusive resort. I'm not a wine snob by any stretch of the imagination, but I am a wine enthusiast, let's say. If you are as well, then you know that the house wine at all-inclusive resorts can be kind of rough. But at Finest, even the house wine was pretty good, so it was nice that I didn't have to pay out of pocket to get the better stuff. There are a total of 15 bars and lounges and 12 restaurants on the property. None of the restaurants require reservations except for the teppanyaki or hibachi tables at Shoji, the Japanese restaurant. But not all restaurants are open every day, so it's definitely a good idea early on in your stay to find out from the concierge what the schedules will be. That way you can try as many of them as possible during the course of your stay. We did our best to try them all, but alas, we still fell short of a few. A couple things to know about dining here. One, there is a dress code for dinner. So gentlemen, you should plan to pack at least one pair of pants and a collared shirt. Second, pretty much every restaurant has a kid's menu with plenty of beige foods, so you won't have to worry if your kid is not the world's most adventurous eater. Market Kitchen in the main building offers buffets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Duke's Lobster and Seafood is an outdoor poolside restaurant that ended up being actually our favorite breakfast spot. I particularly enjoyed the Huevos Mochuleños, but they serve lunch and dinner as well. Las Dunas Beach House is an outdoor restaurant right on the beach, and it's another good casual option. I quite like their fish ceviche, and you should definitely order the paella since it's one of their specialties. This restaurant is also open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Moving on to more formal options, there's Brass Steakhouse. Serge had the tenderloin while I had the ribeye. If you're offered fresh black pepper, definitely say yes because your kids are going to love this moment right here. Shoji is the Japanese restaurant. It serves sushi, sashimi, and a variety of pan-Asian dishes. Now, I don't usually love dessert at Asian restaurants, but surprisingly, I really enjoyed the desserts here. The green tea ice cream is served with a really tasty sesame crust, and the fruit plate with lychee and sake sorbet is a really nice light option. Surf and Turf, as the name suggests, is a restaurant that combines the best dishes from sea and land. 
I really enjoyed the white wine mussel soup, and the servings of lobster tail here are incredibly generous, especially considering that this is an all-inclusive resort. But by far our favorite restaurant here was Tinto and Tapas. The menu here is huge, which makes it really hard to choose. So the best strategy is probably to let your server know what your main likes and dislikes are, and then have them bring out an assortment of dishes that they would recommend. A couple of our favorites were the beef breast and red wine, and the black rice with squid. If you have a sweet tooth, definitely check out the sweet corner. They serve gelato and sorbet, but the girls particularly love their crepes. And of course, room service is included for free as part of your all-inclusive stay. Hi! <laughs> My little ladies! <laughs> oh god, can we not? One area where finest Playa Mujeres really shines is in its entertainment lineup. There's an indoor-outdoor theater where you'll find nightly shows. On many evenings, they do one earlier show aimed at younger kids, like this Disney-themed performance, as well as a later show that's more for the whole family, like these African acrobats and these fire dancers. You'll also find live music nightly in this outdoor space near the sweet corner. These salsa dancers were a lot of fun to watch. Pricing for this resort can vary a lot depending on what type of accommodations you're booking, how many people there are at your party, and what time of year you're going. So I always recommend that you start your planning process by going directly to the resort's website and plugging in some dates to see what the price ranges are looking like. You can either book directly with the property, or if there's a travel advisor or travel agent you already work with, they can help too. Okay, let's talk about COVID safety at Finest Playa Mujeres. We arranged our airport transfer through the hotel, and I was impressed to see that the driver disinfected all our luggage before placing it in the vehicle. Then when we arrived at the resort, the bell staff disinfected the bags again. Every group comes with a sanitation kit that includes masks, hand sanitizer, and antibacterial wipes. Hand sanitizer is available at every restaurant, and all the restaurant menus are available on the property's smartphone app. Wearing masks in public areas is recommended, but not required. All staff members wear clear mouth shields, and you'll find plexiglass shields at the front desk, concierge, and club lounge desks. Okay, that was resort number seven of the 21 resorts we are visiting in 2021. If you'd like to check out resort number eight, just click that video right there. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. And follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Top Flight Family. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.